Hello and welcome. My name's Jane Ennison and this is Pearl and Jane Design and Yarn Studio in Skipton. This is where I usually hold workshops. Today I'm going to show you a few professional finishing techniques. I have been designing <laughs> I have been holding uh, workshops and teaching people knitting techniques and crochet techniques for over 20 years. It's something I love doing. So here I have a back and I've put all the stitches on a needle. So in a pattern this would say cast off like shape shoulders, cast off so many each side and then cast off the middle bit or leave the middle bit on a holder. What I'm saying is just ignore that instruction and leave all the stitches on a needle and then for the front you do have lots of ends everywhere so it can sort of like feel like it's getting a bit crazy for the front where it says cast off for the shoulders leave them on a needle as well so this has been left on a bit of yarn and then these are on a needle and the needle is pointing in the same direction as the needle on the back. So you've got the side edges and you've got the two needles both pointing in the same direction. And so now I'll show you how to graft these shoulders together. And by doing that we're going to do one cast off edge which will eliminate two cast off and then sewing together and it will create a really nice smooth seam. So you have stitches on one needle which is your back shoulder and then stitches on another needle which is your front and you treat these as if they're one. So from now on you think all these stitches on the back and all the stitches on the front are the same. So you take your third needle and you go into the first stitch on the first needle and the first stitch on the second needle and then you knit those two stitches. So we've got our stitch on that needle and you take these two stitches off because we've just knitted them. You then do the same again, you go into the first stitch on the first needle and the first stitch on the second needle you knit them and you take them off and there you have two stitches on your right hand needle you're now going to cast these off because what we're doing is we're knitting them together and casting off as we go so you just take the first stitch over the second and then you continue so first stitch first stitch on first needle first stitch on the second needle, knit, take off, cast off, first, and you do that until you get to the end. Now in some fancy videos they fast forward this. So then as you get to the end, and that last stitch, you just secure that stitch like you would normally, and there you've grafted your shoulders together. find the uh, end and you find that you've got a nice smooth seam. Okay so next I'm going to show you a mattress stitch. This is a fun and magical way of joining seams together and you do it on the right side 
of your work so right sides facing and it is when if you've never done it before and you try it it's so much fun <laughs> um, whenever I design any patterns I'm always thinking of you the knitter when I design anything that I want everything to be simple and easy to knit and also that the sewing up is as simple and easy as possible so, so here we have our garment and this is the back of the garment and when we come to sew up or pick up stitches or anything like that we're looking for V's and that there is a V so that is one stitch and you can tell it's one stitch because there's the stitch on the needle and underneath it is a V so that's your one stitch and in between all these V's are bars and that's what we use for sewing up so we've got these little bars so we have our V we have our bars and we have our another V so we're no longer looking at this as a cloth so we don't see this as a solid all-in-one fabric we see this as lots and lots of little V's so you V, you V, you V and that so when we come to join the side seams on this design you can see that I've done um, details and here's our V and now the right end stitch that is your V as well but because it's at the end it doesn't always look like a V but that's what we're looking for so we've got our V there and our end stitch V and between these we've got bars and that's what we're looking for so we've got the right side of the work facing us and we've got our two seams and we want the right side of the work so we're doing this all on the right side of the work the other thing you do is you don't use your tail because what we do with mattress stitch is we pull and if we use our tail and we start pulling up we don't get a nice flat seam so what we want to do is start on the edge that's the opposite side to where the tail is because then we can secure our ends together so you go in to the very edge and you go up two bars so there's your V there's your V there's two bars and there's your edge V and you're weaving you're not sewing you're weaving so then you go to the other side and up oopsie a bit tricky sometimes to find the end stitch and then you're going up so we've got two bars there we've got our v-stitch there and we're going up and I've kept all these tails in because this might be the same for you when you come to do this there might be lots of ends everywhere so I'm just showing you that it's easy to do it with all these ends out and about so now what we do is we go into the same stitch or the same bar that we've come out of so you can see there that, that green's coming out of there so you go in and up two bars so we're zigzagging backwards and forwards so again in where we came out and up two bars in where we came out and up two bars in where we came out and up two bars in where we came out and up two bars and you keep doing that for a while and then after a while we've zigzagged in we've not sewn into anything you just pull and it magically joins the seams together
Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is picking up stitches around the neck. Um, before you do this, you need to set up the line for picking up your stitches. So like I showed you for the mattress stitch, where you have a nice V along the edge, that's the same with picking up stitches around the neck. So if the thought of picking up stitches around your neck makes you shudder, and you think, oh, I hate picking up stitches around the neck. I will agree with you if you decrease your stitches right at the end of the neck edge because to pick up stitches around there is a nightmare. It is not enjoyable to do and it is not fun. But if you do your decreases one stitch in from the edge, then it can be enjoyable and it is very much fun. <laughs> The decreasing has been done two stitches in from the edge. So as I showed you on the other garment, that was one stitch in. This um, decreasing has been done two stitches in. And on this side, it's your knit two together. And on this side, it's your slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over. So by doing that away from the edge, you get your nice edge coming to make it more enjoyable to pick up your stitches so I'll just turn this round so you can see but this is a bit like um, when you're looking for the bars when you're um, doing a mattress stitch so you have your V there and you have your V there and you're looking for these bars so the bars are what you're going to use so you're going to go between two stitches so between the two V's and between the bars and you go it you're gonna go into every single one four times you'll then miss one and you'll go in to the next four stitches now for some reason I'm sure there's a mathematical reason that this makes a very nice smooth edge because we've all got different row tensions when a pattern is written to tell you to pick up so many stitches it depends on that designer or that knitters row tension so if you have a slightly different row tension your edging is going to look tighter or looser, so it might frill, than the one in the picture. By doing this four, you get a really nice smooth edge to your row tension. So here we've got four, so I'm going to miss the next one and then go into that one. So one, two, three, four, miss that one. So I'm looking for my V, so I'm missing this one, that's where I would go in and I'm going to go in that one. much for watching today and if you've made it to the end of this part then woohoo and thank you very much for watching right to the end uh, this is just a small taster of the things that I do in my workshops when we're allowed um, back again because it's September 2020 as I've mentioned before and workshops are not happening at the moment that's why I'm doing the video <laughs> um, so yeah I hope that you've um, enjoyed what I've had to show you if at any time you want any advice or any help with any knitting, then I'm here at the Pearl and Jane Skipton Studio. Um, or you can email me or phone me um, during shop opening hours and I would love to help you with anything to do with knitting. Okay, thank you for watching and goodbye.